Let's jump into it with a little bit of prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for this opportunity we have to come and worship you, to learn about how you instill kindness in our hearts, instill the passion for caring for others. As we talk today about caring for others, about being kind to one another, help us to remember the true importance of what we do. In Jesus' name, everybody says, Amen. Today, we are talking about kindness, another fruit of the Spirit. Kindness means to care for others, to serve others, to show others that we care for them and that they are important. If we are truly kind to one another, we care for all people. You know what? Why don't we jump in the time machine to just about a year ago when Maxwell was doing an interview about caring and serving others. Here, let's check that out. This is Maxwell Flipperson Live on the street. Today I'm here with my friend Kaiser in his kitchen. We're talking about what it means to be a servant and Kaiser here cooks food for people that don't have homes or food of their own. He's what I would call a pretty good servant. I wouldn't say that, but I appreciate that. Well, Kaiser, can you tell us a little bit about what it means to be a servant? Well, yeah, to serve somebody is to care for people that don't have others to care for them. And it also means to give other people things that you have. I don't have a whole lot of money, but I'm a pretty good cook. So I cook food for people that need it. And that is one of the gifts that God has given me. So I use it to serve those that need it. To be a servant is to care for others more than you care for yourself. Well, that's pretty cool. I thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, uh, this is Maxwell Flufferson live. Uh, we'll take it back to you, Pastor TJ. parts about being kind is serving others. That's why the word for this week is serve. When you come into Children's Church next week and you tell me the word serve, you will receive a special prize. Well, now that we went a year in the past, why don't we travel to the 70s and hear a song about being kind and caring for others. Here, let's go. Watching TV, but when your neighbors say a 
In 1 Peter 3, 15, it says, But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give a reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. We need to always be prepared to show the love of God with others. But if there's not kindness in our hearts when we do that, that word is going to fall flat. One of the true fruits of the Spirit is kindness, is caring for others. And just like every fruit that we've talked about so far, far, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, you can't have any of those if you don't have the one before it. You can't be kind to others if you can't be patient and listen and be respectful. You can't have kindness if you don't have joy in your heart and you have hatred instead. We have to remember that all these build on one another. And to be able to produce these fruits, we need to be followers of God first and foremost. Because true kindness can't be found unless we have the love of God in our hearts. Thank you guys so much for joining us this week. And I hope you'll join us again next week for another Sunday afternoon family devotion. Let's go!